Roux-en-Y gastric bypass is a gold standard surgical treatment for morbid obese patients and their comorbidities. Unfortunately, there is a group of patients for whom this technique is unsuitable. The sleeve gastrectomy is a valid option in these cases, especially when patients have a high anesthetic risk or a history of previous surgical procedures generating a large number of adhesions in the gut. A 47-year-old male with a history of morbid obesity and a BMI of 37,7, height 1,70 meters, weight 109 kilos. He's a multipathological patient as he suffered from high blood pressure, treated with three drugs, type 2 diabetes mellitus, treated with 26 insulin units per day plus metformin, HbA1c7 and 8, dyslipidemia, positive for the hepatitis C virus, asthma, BPD, GILD B and severe OSA that required CPAP, chronic kidney failure due to microscopic polyarteritis that required a kidney transplant and correct graft function. He underwent an exploratory laparotomy three years ago at another hospital due to suspected intestinal ischemia. No bowel was resected at that time, but as a complication he had a large incision or hernia. At the preoperative study, the upper gastroscopy was normal, no hiatal hernia was found and the biopsy was negative for Helicobacter pylori. The abdominal ultrasound was compatible with level steatosis. ASA score 3. The patient was placed in the supine position with legs wide open. The leading surgeon stood between the patient's legs with one assistant on each side. A total of six ports were used. The first one was a 12mm port located at the right flank. Then a 12mm periumbilical port was placed to the right of the incisional hernia. Two 5mm ports were located in the subxiphoid position. A very lateral port was placed at the left flank. A 12mm port was located at the left flank and the last port was placed at the epigastrium. After the placement of the first trocar, the camera was introduced to explore the abdominal cavity.